so there won't be a video of my training as such today because it's just a 90 minute endurance ride following the world's championship yesterday but uh, what I'm gonna treat you to instead is like a little commentary over some stat busting stuff on Strava which I hope you really enjoy if you've got any questions let me know down below and uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, a little bit shorter than usual but hopefully quite a bit more insightful than what I would otherwise give you today so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy <clears throat> okay so I have loaded up um, Strava I'm using Strava because uh, it's actually got quite a good um, comparing tool on there so <clears throat> sorry about the audio if it's a little bit grainy I'm uh, recording this directly on my phone so I'm going to take a look now at my effort for today uh, by the way if you don't want to see any of this then um, then just uh, just skip and thank you for watching the video basically but anyway we're going to take a look, we're going to highlight the actual climb, and here it is, okay, Strava saying my average power is slightly more than what it was, but <clears throat> there we go, we'll take it for what it is. So we've got the actual climb, the segment highlighted here, we have 4.1 at 8.9%, uh, uh, it took me 12 minutes 7 seconds, which was actually slower than what I did in last year, because conditions were more favourable last year, that's something you've always got to remember, um, but my average power, a lot higher. Uh, last year I did 402 and this year 419. Uh, heart rate is roughly the same, but as you can see, it's you know it's pretty kind of well paced. If anything, you can see a proper increase from maybe here, um, where it kind of jumps from being at 175 to you know 180 in a relatively short space of time, and then finishes off at 185. So nothing ridiculous. Cadence is well bang on the whole way basically. Nothing uh, nothing too extreme. So. What we're going to take, and you can see, like, if I highlight certain sections, so let's take the first kind of, okay, first 700 metres, average power is 4 to 2, so it's not, like, it's not crazy um, explosive, and then we look at the end, it's 4, 4, 5 for the last minute and a half, so you've got the first 700 metres and the last 700 metres, <clears throat> excuse me, um, finishing obviously strong but not as strong as last year in terms of power so take it back we've got 4 through 2 for this section 413 410 410 so it's pretty even you know I'm, I'm pacing it pretty evenly the whole way apart from the last kind of you know the last kind of five minutes so if we take from here and uh, we stretch it out until five minutes Five minutes actually takes us quite a way down, which is interesting. So the last five minutes is four two six, which is uh, bizarrely my second ever best. No, sorry, second best this year. Five minute power. Um, it's not. It's not my bet. My anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, bizarrely enough, though, my uh, my ten minute power is actually increasing quite drastically. Like over last week, it was. Four watts higher this week than it was seven days ago and it has been increasing kind of linearly I think that's the right word over the last kind of two months so when we've got specific it's actually worked so here the last part of the effort we're at 426 and if we take it to the last two minutes at 440 two and a half minutes at 437 so it's fairly it's fairly ramped towards the end now could I have gone faster Potentially, that's something I'm going to talk about very briefly at the end here. But I want to analyse the full climb, uh, if I can. So let's just go back here a second and take... Uh, I think this is the largest segment. So it's the only segment that's that covers most of the climb. So we're going to take this one. And what we do is, we come down here and we go to... So that was my time last year. Uh, sorry, that's my time last year and that's my time this year. So it's obviously a little bit slower uh, with conditions. But we're going to click compare. And then it's going to take us to this handy little graph. And we're going to go to today. That's really important. And we're going to select me and Andrew. 
Now, at Conestrava, we've both done exactly the same time, but obviously the timekeeper uh, has the last laugh, shall we say? <laughs> he has the last, the final time, so it's whatever the timekeeper says. Um, you can't go up to him at the end and say, this is what my Garmin said, this is what my Wahoo said. Um, this is actually the time you did. So we're going to take, let's say, uh, the top five. Oh, you can only select four. Oh, you can only select four. Okay, I'm sorry. We'll select the top four, and... Um, We'll look at the time, so you can see there's a 20 second difference between, uh, you know, kind of first and first, I guess, uh, and then third and fourth. You can see the power 418, 431, 422, it's all there. Um, yeah, so we're going to look at this, and this looks a little bit crazy, I know, but um, the black line is my KOM, which, in fact, I want to get rid of that somehow. I want to get rid of it. All time. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, cool. So now we've got me uh, as the black line there in the middle, and then we've got everybody else. So we've we've got um, Andrew, uh, the burgundy. I'm sorry, Andrew. Uh, if you want to do a better color, uh, we've got Dan in like the turquoise, and we've got Rich in the orange. And we can see this is the sleep section at the bottom and everybody's got their own kind of pacing strategy at the start and it's all kind of all over the shop like nobody's really taking uh, a grasp of the race so to speak but um we're all in the same ballpark and then you get to like the kilometer mark and this is kind of where the cattle grid is here um and you can see the cattle grid is where you know there's a sizable gap between most of us so me the black line i'm actually the slowest here um by two seconds to rich i'm seven seconds down on dan and i'm 11 seconds down on andrew feather now as we keep going i catch up to rich here virtually uh that's what this says so we're gonna go on that um and then me and rich stay relatively same uh before we fall away at the end now the same goes for Dan. It's almost exactly the same almost for Dan. And he finishes almost neck and neck with Rich in, in the results. And then me and Andrew, well, Andrew does really well to keep opening up a gap. Like, you know, he's, he's very strong. Very, very strong. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to beat around the bush. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do any of that. It's, uh, it's chapeau to him full stop. But he comes here and then there's like a, a 16 second gap I'm 16 seconds down and then it plummets quickly and I it's difficult to say what causes this so what we're gonna do is go here and open up his effort now bear with me I'm gonna try and get through this as quick as possible but what he does is he loses 16 seconds over the course of uh, night quick math here from nine minutes so basically two minutes and 49 seconds he loses 16 seconds but it takes him nine minutes to gain 16 seconds so that's me obviously not starting off too fast but then saying that i didn't actually start off too fast i just held the same power the whole way and ramped it up at the end so that's what i want to come down to is it possible then that i could go faster by going harder at the start I guess that's the takeaway here. So Andrew's effort is, wow, quite a bit different to mine. I wasn't expecting this, but he presses on quite a bit at the start. You can see a 443 is, you know, a, a lot, basically. But uh, that's for, for the first nine minutes. And then it goes quite a bit up and down here. And his power drops significantly. So that's probably why I closed the gap so quick. Because my best five minutes came in this last section. And his last three and a half minutes was actually almost 20 watts less. So I was moving significantly quicker. Uh, if we look at the final segment, so tumble, flat, top bit. And I'm going to whiz through this, whiz through this, whiz through this. Wolf leaderboard. I will see the difference in that final uh, kind of two kilometers we're going to go to today. And there's my time there. And I do, you know, I'm holding on for my best five minutes here at 2.40. And Andrew is down to 3.99 at 2.55. So there is the 15 seconds that we talked about. There is what I pulled back in the last 1.2k. So what we could say is I could have started going harder, maybe here a little bit earlier. And I would have pulled that back fully 
you know that that one second gap at the end wouldn't wouldn't have been there um or i could have just pressed on hard at the start uh let me know your thoughts down below i would uh, i would very much like to know actually because it's uh, there's there's a fine art to all of it but it's great that we can share things because uh it's not necessarily a right way or wrong way but uh, it'd be great to know your thoughts